Hey what's up guys, it's Steve and in this video I'm going to be showing you how to fix the storage issue on the PlayStation 4 that came about as a result of update 2.57. So stick around. So a couple days ago Sony released an update to the PlayStation 4 which was number 2.57. And if you haven't been paying attention, uh, you look under your storage, you might notice that your storage is no longer showing an accurate readout. In other words, with a 500 gig hard drive, it's no longer accounting for all 500 gigs of storage. It's accounting for uh, the amount that's under applications, um, games, whatever you have saved on there, up to a certain amount, but it's not showing the full 500. Uh, so I'm going to show you how to go ahead and fix that. So you want to make sure the PlayStation is completely powered down. As you can see, my PS4 is completely shut down. So what I'm doing here is I'm pressing the PS4 button as well as the power button on the system itself. And I'm just pressing and holding. You hear it beep once it comes on. So you get this message here which is telling you to connect the DualShock 4 controller using a USB cable and then press the PlayStation button. So all it's telling you is connect your controller, which we've done here, and press the PlayStation button. Then you get this menu here, and this is uh, starting your PlayStation 4 in safe mode. So you see your options are restart, change resolution, update system software, restore default settings, rebuild database, initialize PS4, and initialize PS4, PS4 reinstall system software. What you want to do is you want to come down to rebuild database. Hit X. It tells you that it will be rebuilt and it might take a few hours. Of course it won't take that long. Okay, so you can see here it's saying the remaining time that it's going to take to rebuild my database is approximately four minutes. So we'll just let it do well. It's increasing. But regardless, we'll just let it go. At this point, you can see that it's done rebuilding the database and it's asking us to press the PS button to use the controller. So there you go. There's the fix for the PlayStation 4 Update 2.57 software storage glitch. If you guys have any questions or comments, leave that down below. Please do remember to hit that like button. Please do share and subscribe to it, the channel, and I will catch you all in the next video. Peace.